So glazed railings are something we professionals, especially in the construction industry, are familiar with. We use it for minimalist and contemporary projects and it gives a kind of very simple and beautiful look. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the step-by-step -step method of how to create your own custom glazed railings in Autodex Revit. So I'm going to be showing you this in a few minutes. So it's going to be just quick. So if you have the skill, you can use it in your future projects and it can be really helpful. So if you haven't done so, make this the video, you hit the subscribe button. Also like this video because I'm I'm sure it's going to be helpful hit the notification bell to get notified once we release new videos like this because we do this on a weekly basis and without any further ado we're going to jump right into the main content of this video all right so basically i'm going to be using a revit default template without any external apply template so this is just a staircase i created to illustrate how to use it for even your staircases and how the railing can be parametric and versatile so let's just go to the plan view and we are going to create a new railing so i'm just going to click on railing so now i'm just going to go over to this properties panel click on edit type click on duplicate and i'm just going to change this to 01 glazed railing all right so i'm just going to click ok so now i've done this i'm just going to click ok and i'm just going to draw a regular railing so as you can see the only thing i changed is the name but we're just going to click finish so if you go back to 3d we are just going to see that this is the normal rectangular railing still even though we duplicated the name it doesn't mean anything much which is fine so now we are going to start creating the families for our new railing so i'm just going to go to file over here once I click on file, I'm going to go to new. Under new, I'm going to click on family. Under family, instead of English Imperial, because I don't work in, I use the metric system. So I'm going to go back and go to English metric. If you use the Imperial system, use English Imperial. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to metric profile rail. So I'm just going to click on this and I'm going to click OK. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on create and i'm just going to click online so i'm going to draw a narrow glass profile so i'm just going to be drawing a line from 2.5 from this point then i'm going to be drawing it upwards to 900 millimeters that's how high i want the railing to be and i'm just going to be drawing this at five millimeters and just joining it and looping this point here and just looping it here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on ctrl s and i'm going to save this i'm going to create a new folder called railing family so i'm just going to name this rail family so this is where i'm going to be keeping all the families we are going to be creating i'm just going to click on it and i'm going to name this family rail glass all right so i'm just going to click on save and i'm going to save it so once we have done this we are going to click on file and we are going to click on new again we are going to click on new family now we are going to be going to english metric as usual and we are going to be going to railing again we are going to be going to metric profile rail click on it click ok so now we are going to be drawing the top railing of the glass railing so we are just going to click on line and we are just going to draw 2.5 millimeter from here and we are going to draw like a railing casing for the top of the rail the handrail so i'm also going to make this um, 5 millimeter 2.5 so i'm just going to make it as narrow and as minimalist as possible and i'm just going to draw this here so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to select all these lines here i'm going to click on this mirror by picking axis and i'm going to make sure this is this is checked as copy and i'm just going to mirror this so now i'm just going to click on this and save this and i'm going to save this as handrail okay so now i'm going to click on save once again i'm just going to create a new one instead of going and clicking on family on new family again what i could simply do is just edit this and save us because i want to create a bottom rail so i'm just going to delete this profile now and i'm just going to go to create i'm going to click on line work so i'm just going to draw the bottom railing to let's use 5 and uh, 2.5 <coughs> and let's use um 10 here so instead of making this this one i can click on offset and offset it at 2.5 so I want to make this as light as possible so it will be looking very nice. Then I'm just going to click on file and I'm just going to click on save as family and I'm just going to save this as bottom really. Okay, we are making progress. Then we are going to click on save. So now we are going to be creating the balusters. So in the case of glass railing, I'm sure you might be wondering that why am I creating balusters? But even in glazed railings, there are some components that make sure that the glazing is held together. So I'm just going to be using balusters to serve as that. So I'm going to be going to file again. Under this file, I'm going to go to new. Under new, I'm going to go to family. Under new, after family, I'm just going to go to English metric. Okay, then I'm just going to go to metric generic phase based model. 
so i'm just going to look for this click on metric generic face based model and click on ok so now this is done we are going to start creating some balusters so i'm going to click on extrusion under this extrusion i'm going to just draw in very narrow baluster so i'm just going to be drawing five millimeter from here or 2.5 enter i'm also going to be drawing the width at um, let's use 1.5 so i'm just going to make it as subtle as possible 2.5 2.5 okay so now i've created this i'm just going to select this all of this four here let me just select this select this four here click on mirror by pick axis and mirror it so i'm just going to delete this here i could also do some extra touches by beveling these edges here just to make it okay the same line is too short i'm going to click on cancel okay it's fine let's just leave it like this so now we are going to edit the extrusion parameters we are going to change the extrusion end to let's use um nine nine hundred as well then under the standard we are just going to change this category we are going to right click and we are going to click on duplicate and i'm going to change this to 01 steel all right then i'm just going to click on this box icon to assign a new material to it i'm going to go to appearance then i'm going to go under metal and i'm going to look for this aluminium gray so i'm going to go to graphics and make sure this render use render appearance is checked on i'm going to click on apply and i'm going to click ok okay so now i'm just going to look at this profile again and make sure it's not going to be obstructing the glass so i'm just going to click on offset and i'm going to be offsetting it at five millimeters just okay not five zero point five just so it will be small as possible so it will not even show on the glass so after i've done this what i'm going to be creating now is the clips holding the glass together okay let me just click on finish first so now if you go to 3d you can now see this face base so we're going to be creating some clips to just hold the glass in place so we're going to go back to this reference level we're going to go to create we're going to go to extrusion okay the material is already checked we're going to change this extrusion parameter from 900 millimeter we're going to change it to 75 because the clips is just a protrusion from the bottom rail to just help hold the glass in place so firstly we're just going to draw a line here a hypothetical line to about um let's use 25 millimeter after doing that we're going to offset this to where the glass is 2.5 then we're just going to draw a clip at um, let's use 15 millimeter by let's use 2.5 so it's just a sheet of glass holding the glazed railing in place so i'm just going to delete this profile i'm going to select this whole profile i'm going to click on mirror by pick axis i'm going to mirror this i'm also going to select this all this i'm going to click on mirror and i'm going to mirror this as well so you can see this is just the clips okay so now we've created this i'm just going to click on ctrl s and i'm going to save this as a there's a reason i'm not saving it as baluster yet because this is not yet a baluster family this is a face based family so now i'm not going to create a baluster family by nesting this face based family into a baluster family and i'm going to show you how i'm going to go to family i'm going to go to new under this new i'm going to go to family then i'm now going to go to english metric under english metric i'm going to click on metric baluster and i'm going to click open okay so now we're in this metric baluster interface we're just going to go to set i'm going to say pick work plane and i'm just going to pick this diagonal work plane here and they are going to ask me where i want to view it from i want to view it from floor plan reference level so now i've done this i could even click on show just to confirm what i do i'm now going to go to create i'm going to click on component they said there's no family component loaded in i'm going to click yes i want to load one then i'm just going to go to this family railing where i kept this and i'm going to click on this a we created and i'm going to click on open so once i click on it i'm just going to try and place it here then i'm going to click on escape after i've placed it i'm going to go to this left view so now i've gone to this left view you can see the thing with the clips i could just click on this and i'm going to click on this two-way icon here to centralize it which is fine and good so i'm just going to go to create now and i'm going to go to this reference line so now i'm just going to they are going to ask me which plane i want to select since i'm on the left elevation i'm just going to click on this job down i'm going to click on reference plane left to right so i'm just going to click on it and i'm going to click ok then i'm going to try and locate the center point where all these reference lines converge and i'm just going to pick a point and make the line perpendicular to this reference plane here let's say somewhere here okay so now i'm going to click escape so now i'm going to click on dimension annotate i'm going to click on angular dimension i'm going to select this reference line and this reference plane dimension it and lock it in place so after i've done this i'm going to click on al to align that is the shortcut for align i'm going to click on this reference line and i'm going to try and select the center of this component this baluster this face based family we loaded it and i'm going to lock it in place now i've done this i'm just going to click on ctrl s 
and I'm going to save this as baluster, metal clip baluster. Okay, I think we are good to go. Then I'm just going to click on it and save it. So now, instead of going manually and saving everything one by one, we're just going unloading everything into the project. We're just going to go back to the project. We're going to open the folder where I kept all of them. I think that is this folder real family then i'm just going to select all I, I don't need to select this here i'm just going to select this all this family i need and i'm just going to drag it and load it into this revit file okay so i think it has loaded okay so now we are going to go to 3d view and we're going to start using all the families to edit this really so now we have already clicked on it and we've already given it a new name so i'm just going to click on edit type under this edit type i'm going to start changing stuff so i'm going to start from this top railing the top railing is basically what the name implies a top railing so i'm going to click on this top railing type and i'm going to go under this profile and click on it then i'm going to look for top railing handrail click on it then i'm going to assign a material to it this time i'm going to assign just a steel material which is all fine and good clicking and i'm going to click apply okay so now you can see the railing has changed but we are still going to edit more things on this I'm going to click ok so now we are going to start putting the you are going to put the bottom railing to put the bottom railing we are going to go to this rail structure we are going to go to insert well instead of the name is new rail we don't need to change the name we are now going to change the profile we are going to change it to bottom rail so we are going to assign a material to it and we are just going to click on this steel material and we are going to click apply and we are going to click ok apply so you can see the bottom railing has appeared as well so now we are going to click on edit we are going to click on insert we are going to change this from default we are going to click on this drop down and we are just going to click on railing real glass and we are going to click on this real glass to impute the real glass okay then i'm going to change this by category and i'm going to change this to glass i'm going to right click i'm going to click on duplicate and i'm going to click on 01 and i'm going to change this to tinted glass all right so i'm going to click on this box icon here to assign a new material to it i'm going to go under appearance then i'm going to look for this glass and i'm just going to look for a nice dark tinted glass uh, let me use this frosted okay let me not use one that is too let me just use this glass heavy color i'm going to make sure i go to graphics i'm going to click on this use render appearance click apply and let's just wait for it to load and i'm going to click ok apply and i'm going to click ok so now we have loaded in the railings so now i'm not going to start working on the baluster and we're going to remove all this metal baluster let me just click ok for now and i'm going to go over here and change the visibility style to shaded so you'll be seeing what we're doing i'll just change it to realistic instead so everything will be coming out as it is so as you can see let me just change this to fine so as you can see you can see the glass railing you can see the bottom and top but we want to start putting in these balusters so i'm going to click on this railing now i'm going to click on edit type to continue editing it then i'm going to finally click on baluster placement so the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to select this baluster and i'm going to click on this drop down icon here then i'm just going to look for metal this metal ballast clip baluster we created and i'm going to click on it okay so this distance from previous i'm going to leave it at let's use 1000 let's start from 1000 then i'm just going to go over the, to this post start post corner post and end post and i'm going to change all of them this metal clip baluster click on this drop down change this click on this drop down change this then i'm just going to click on apply and i'm going to see what it does click on ok apply and click on ok so as you can see we have created our wonderful glazed railing so if i go to this staircase now and i select this normal generic railing this rectangular railing we that comes with the staircase i'm going to hold control and select both of them and i just click on this drop down icon and i change it to this 01 glaze railing we just edited you are going to see how it's just going to adapt to this of course you could see some issues here and there but it's something we could fix later on a conventional manner you could see how this works very well then finally this is how to create your glaze railing in autodex revit very adjustable if i click on it and i click on edit railing part i could even extend the railing and use it how i want to use it you could just extend this railing here extend this railing click on this and click finish all right so if the video was helpful make sure you hit the like button subscribe to our channel for more content like this also hit the notification bell to get notified once we release new videos because we do this on a weekly basis with that said i'm done i'm going to wish you goodbye to the next video